For former naval officer John Toll, it's nice to be back in the USS Blueback. My old home. It's his old stomping grounds. He served on this sub back in 1970 for a few months. He did a lot in that time, but exactly what he did? Well, we're not quite sure. Well, it was, um, it was classified. What he could talk about, some of his fondest memories. I can talk about the camaraderie. This is a very, very special group of people, and uh, we have a lot of fun together. We joke a lot, and uh, that, that kind of takes away the, from the pressures of being, uh, you know, aboard. And, and there was substantial pressure in such close quarters and conducting clandestine operations. She did a lot of SEAL operations, a lot of intelligence gathering operations. What sets this sub apart? Its whole shape cutting edge for 1959 when it was built, allowing it to outperform the rest. Because they could go deep and fast for long periods of time. And then this thing came out and we could go deep and even faster. And while all that is impressive, what Toll treasures most is the camaraderie, cribbage, and hot meals with crewmates. He hopes younger generations realize the importance of this piece of history. If you don't remember the past and don't study it, you're, you're doomed, destined to repeat it. Toll spent 21 years in the Navy. He says the captain of this sub was by far his favorite. This submarine has gone everywhere from San Diego to Hawaii to Japan, where Toll served for a time. He says when he got off this submarine, got his feet back on dry land, he only had a couple of days to make it to his wedding in Chicago. So I'm sure both he and his wife pretty glad that this submarine is as fast as it is. <laughs> I'm sure, Christina. That, that sub also has some uh, Hollywood history to it as well. Yes, Joe, it does. I spoke to a tour guide uh, who does regular tours on the submarine. He says it has made a brief appearance in The Hunt for Red October. I don't know if you remember that movie with Sean Connery. And it's also made an appearance in a TV show as well. So yes, a little bit of stardom right here floating in our Willamette River in Portland. <laughs> Back to you.